Hi, this is Mario with AS Wave here in Fresno. And today we have the uh, U-Scope and the secondary uh, coil-on-plug paddle probe here. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions from you guys asking us how to set up uh, the scope to work with the paddle probe. Uh, best time per division and voltage settings, um, best placement on the coils, you know, those types of questions. So we decided the best way to do it is to uh, make a quick video and uh, that way we can answer your questions in, at one shot. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so uh, when you get your U-Scope, whether it's a U-Scope um, Basic or the U-Scope Master Kit, your U-Scope comes in a box, and this is a brand new U-Scope, so we'll be doing this from scratch, as if you, you just got your new unit as well. Um, this coil-on plug is not included in the U-Scope Basic Kit, only in the U-Scope Master Kit. Some of you guys have purchased it separately. It is available uh, separate on our website. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first of all, with the uh, paddle probe, um, we're going to go ahead and it comes disassembled. It's pretty easy to assemble. Uh, let's get this out right here. And it also, the uh, secondary paddle probe kit, the universal one, comes with a uh, DIS traditional spark plug clip. But uh, we're not going to need this today since we're focusing on coil on plug. So uh, here's how we do it you have your uh, banana socket, and this is interchangeable. Uh, it'll work with your paddle and the clip that I just showed you. Now, the way that you assemble this together is uh, you got this, this uh, tip here, goes right inside the paddle, just like that. And you want to get it as flush to this uh, heat shrink as possible, you know, eliminate any exposed metal, just like that. And the other end is going to plug into the uh, banana plug here. And now we have it. Now we do have the uh, ground clip on the other end. We gotta make sure that that ground, ground clip is grounded in the engine compartment. And this end is gonna go to the U-scope here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this car turned on so we can start setting up our scope. Okay, so the vehicle that we're on today is a 2011 Dodge Charger uh, six cylinder. So we're gonna go ahead and get our U-scope opened up here and start getting it ready. So uh, there are contents at the bottom of the U-scope, uh, USB cable, uh, signal generation leads, uh, stand, little pouch. We're not going to need any of those accessories for this for this video. So let's go ahead and put this box away here. Okay, so now with our U-scope here, we're going to go ahead and get the U-scope turned on. And uh, this is the latest version, version 6.01. Uh, if you don't have this version, uh, there's not a big difference between this one and the 5.12 or the 5.0. Main difference is now you have the splash screen with the presets on it um, and some bug fixes within the unit. But uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and select lab scope. So I'm going to hit the OK button here. And now we're ready to start. So I'm going to go ahead and get all our, uh, our coil unplug paddle probe connected and we're going to get it connected to our scope. Okay. So the ground clip, we want to put it in the, uh, we want to just ground it in the engine compartment here. The other end of the paddle, if you look here, uh, it'll say this side to coil. This is a side that you want to face down on, onto your coil. Okay. Next part of it is we're going to get it plugged into our U-scope here. All right. So let's just uh, get this. Let's go ahead and touch the paddle probe on a coil and see if we, we can see anything on our U-scope here. And uh, kind of pick up a, a signal, not very recognizable on the screen. Now you do want to make sure that you're touching, uh, the, that you want to fill this surface area with as much of that coil as possible. You don't want to be offset, you don't want to be barely touching it, you want to be flat on that coil to get the best signal, the best pickup of that magnetic field. I'm going to go ahead and lay it on there flat. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start adjusting the scope. So uh, the first part is my voltage settings. I'm going to go ahead and bring this over to maybe half a volt per division so I can start seeing something on the screen. And uh, as you can see, we can already see, see a, a pattern. Still not re very recognizable. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust our, uh, our time base. It's at 200 microseconds right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring that up to about two milliseconds, maybe one millisecond per division. Start seeing something we're a little bit more used to here. Uh, it is flashing off of the screen, so let's see if we can adjust it a little bit better. 
uh, I'm going to go back to my voltage settings and go up to 2 volt, 0.2 volts per division and that's, I mean that's just not, not a clear waveform there. So I'm going to go ahead and change it again to uh, maybe 1 volt per division and I don't see anything on the screen, the voltage is just, it's just too high. Uh, well, actually, okay guys, so when you see this, this, I get a lot of questions about this, about a, a waveform that just keeps bouncing on and off the screen, that's usually your trigger setup. And this yellow line here is your trigger on your U-scope. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this, our trigger down by selecting this uh, trigger level menu option that's at the bottom, it's this yellow one here, my thumb is at. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down and use a down arrow to bring our level down. It should steady the waveform quite a bit. Um, and you want to just get it right at, at the peak of the waveform. So there it is. Still bouncing up and down. Uh, I'm going to switch our trigger pickup to normal to try to get a, a clearer signal. And there it is. It's pretty steady. Now I'm going to try to adjust our, our uh, time base a little bit more, see if we can get a better signal. Uh, that's 500 microseconds. Uh, two milliseconds is there. So it looks like for this particular vehicle on this particular coil, uh, one millisecond per division time base is probably the best way to go. And uh, let's, just, let's just adjust our time base. Half a volt per division gives you a cleaner signal. Um, you can see the burn time, you can see your uh, KV spike there. And uh, now one issue that we do have is uh, for example, here you have this uh, energy buildup on this coil, and this is typical of this Chrysler type of coil, um, but it is going off the screen. Now, if you wanted to see that, you can offset the ground on the scope. And the way we do it is there's a menu option here. So if you select your menu and hit OK, now go to uh, vertical, which means the uh, vertical settings of your scope, click OK. You're going to scroll down to ground position, GND position. And on the upper right, you'll see your settings there. And what we want to do is we want to either use left or right to adjust it. Left is going to bring it up. If you guys can see that on the, look at your waveform here. The more I press left, the higher up that ground position is offset. You can offset it pretty high there. And then uh, same thing with the right arrow key when you're under ground position, it'll bring the ground position down. Uh, and that's in case you wanted to see that energy buildup of the coil or you just wanted to adjust your waveform ground on your scope. Once you have it set, you can hit OK. And now you can see a clean uh, signal of your waveform here. All right, guys, that's as easy, that's as, easy as the scope is going to get. Um, pretty simple to set up. It's a fast setup scope. And now with my scope set up, the nice thing about this U-scope is I can come in and now walk down every coil and try to see if there's any difference in between. You know, positive elimination is one, you know, who's the odd guy out here? And uh, I'll just start walking. And on this vehicle, the coils are pretty easy to access. Uh, other side is just as easy as well. So that's it. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to uh, let me know. Now one thing that I did want to show you is uh, the position of the waveform uh, or the position of the paddle. If you notice uh, there, if I move the position of the paddle, it does change the, uh, the height of the, of the waveform of the spike. And it's just by me moving it. So always remember you want to be, you want to have the most surface area covering your paddle here to get the best signal. The more coil is touching this, the better signal you're going to get the more reliable of a waveform you're going to see on your scope. Alright guys, thanks for watching.